my name is Ethan. A little over a year ago, I was just a, a regular seven and a half year old kid. I love school and being with my family and playing and playing with my friends. I love Taekwondo and basketball and skiing and golf and science and playing guitar and going on family vacations, especially our regular ones to Oregon with my cousins and grandparents. And I loved reading. I especially have loved reading with my family. Even though we all read a lot and even though we um, all are good readers, it's, it's fun to read together to talk and predict and argue and learn. A little over a year ago, I also was friends with um, Supermax, who is still battling brain cancer. He has been my buddy since first grade. We've been in the same class together for three years. I did a lot of stuff with um, the Max Love Project to support him and kids with cancer. When we were in first grade, many of my friends shaved their heads to support Supermax. But me, I liked my long hair too much, so I wrote and sang a song for him instead. I thought my friend was so brave, and I just wanted to be a good friend and help. Then, a few months later, I was actually diagnosed with leukemia. Unfortunately, I already knew some about cancer. I knew that I was going to probably lose my hair, and I knew about Chalk Hospital. And I knew sort of what it means to have cancer because of Supermax. But I no had no idea how hard it would be. Last year, I couldn't go to school, and I spent a lot of time in the hospital. Now, there, though there was a lot of chemo and so many side effects, there was so much that was great about Chalk Hospital. I got to play a lot of technology like Xbox and Wii, watch lots of cool movies in my room and in the hospital movie theater. I um, go to um, fun events, especially on the holidays, visit the hospital radio station, which was my favorite thing to do, and be visited by therapy dogs. And also play guitar with Eric, the musical therapist, and hang out with great, some great visitors, like the stars of Teen Beach Movie 2, and football players that were going to be drafted, and even RGD2. But there was one thing that was missing at the hospital, and that was books. Now for me, it didn't make much of a difference. I packed books wherever I go. When I went to the ER, I put books in my suitcase, and reading is something I do when I don't feel good. And reading aloud was especially something that my mom and dad did and still do with me when I'm in the hospital and I don't feel good. Because we can cuddle and travel to a different world outside the hospital or learn something new. And we talk and think and, and, and together and I just love it. But I can't tell you how many times I was at the hospital on the fifth floor, the oncology floor, when nurses told me, boy, Ethan, you're the only one with books around here or yours are the only parents that we ever catch reading aloud to their kids. It made me think that I can't imagine what it would be like to go through leukemia without books and reading, and especially without being read to. I started to notice that it's hard to find books in the hospital. They're not in the lobby or in the waiting areas. They're not in the uh, patient infusion center or the clinic, and they're not and there's not many in the playroom, especially not good ones. There are screens everywhere and lots of technology is offered, which I admit I love. But why can't there also be books? Just like patients can visit the playroom or the movie theater or the gym or Chalk's radio station or Turtle Talk, how great would it be if we could um, also have a library where kids could visit too, so that families that don't bring books to the hospital can visit the library and check out books out to their room. It also made me think, what if every single room had one shelf where kids could build their own little libraries while at the hospital? And what if for kids who can't visit the library, there's a book cart that goes around? And maybe even patients can fill out surveys about their interests so books can be put on the cart that might match what they like to read. And what if every kid that checked into the hospital got a library card and could check out books to go on the shelf in their room? And then I thought, just like child life comes around offering games and toys for, from the playroom, and just like Eric the Great Music Therapist comes around offering music, and just like physical therapy is offered and pet therapy is offered to patients, maybe volunteers can come around and say, hey, has someone read to you yet today? So now that I'm in maintenance, I still have more than two years of chemo left. But I'm in the hospital a lot less, and I want to make a difference for the kids that have to be in there a lot. I want to make sure that books and reading are part of what kids get in order to heal when they are in the hospital. So that's what the Ethan and Chaco Book Club is all about. I hope that we can build a really great library. 
I have a vision of every ki kid getting to read every single day that they are in the hospital, either by their parents or by a special person that comes around. And, and maybe there can even be um, read-alouds in places like the lobby where Turtle Talk is or at the radio station on the TV that goes into all the patient rooms. Most of all, I hope that the Ethan and Choco Book Club makes sure that when kids go to Chalk Hospital, books and reading aloud are offered to um, help them feel good and talk and learn and most importantly, to thrive even when they're being treated for something serious in the hospital.